Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to talk about how to write conditions in SQL. So we are going to talk about the usage of case when statement, the if statement and how we can write complicated conditions in SQL. Uh, before we start this video, I want all of you to please share this video with your friends. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Session with Sumit. Let's get started. So now let's talk about how we can write conditions or conditional statements over SQL and to write conditions or conditional statements. So we have two functions or two ways in which we can write conditional statements. Number one is using function if this is the first one method. The second method is using case when. So let's try to understand both of them. For this particular example, let's let's create one table. Employee ID, name, salary, and grade. Let's add some records. Um, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, AA, BT, CZ, IM, LK, OM, 10, 12, 20, 30, 25, 26, 0, 06. Now, what is my objective? My objective is to basically use the salary column and assign some grade based on the following condition. So, the conditions are if the salary is less than 5, then I need the grade to be C. Uh, if the salary is greater than or equal to 5 and the salary is less than 15, I need the grade to be B. If the salary is greater than or equal to 15, I need the grade to be A. So based on the following conditions, I'll get the grade as B, B, A, A, A and again B. So how we can generate results like this in SQL? Uh, it's very simple. We use what is known as case when. We write select a star. So I need all the columns and the rows. Then case when salary is less than 5. Then I need C. When salary is greater than or equal to 5 and salary is less than 15 then i need b when salary is or maybe we can also write else because we do not have any other condition post this so else i need a end as grade from the table employee now just see the pattern it is very simple and, and uh, easy to understand so the case when a statement starts from the keyword case ends with the keyword end between that we have this block which has two components when then and at the end of the conditional block you have to mention the else so in nutshell the case when a statement starts with case ends with end and in between you will have when then when then finally else and this is how we write case when statement now if you have only one condition see uh, using case when you can write multiple conditions in a very structured format but let's say you only have one condition for example uh, I want to assign grade A if the salary is uh, more than 10 else I want to assign B in that case since I only have one condition I can use if salary is greater than 10 I need A else I need B. This is very similar to what we have in Excel. If the condition, what I need if the condition is true, what I need if the condition is false. But uh, it is like it is not just limited to one condition. If you want to use if to write multiple conditions also you can do it. So you have to write nested if. So how the nested if look, would look like? Uh, it would look like something like this. If condition is salary greater than or so let's say less than 5 
then I need C else I'll apply another if condition if uh, salary is greater than or equal to 5 and salary is less than 15 then I need B else I need A and I'll call this as grade column so this is how you can write nested if so any of the particular technique you can use but the easiest way is that when you have to basically uh, apply multiple conditions prefer using case when if you have to apply only one condition prefer using if also if you are working in MySQL platform in, in my case I'm using MySQL platform so this is basically the function if but for MS SQL which is Microsoft SQL this this function is IIF it is not just if it is IIF so IIF will work for um, MS SQL while this remains the same a uh, case when so now let's look into one example here we have the churn data table and as you can see we have customer ID tenure phone service contract and various other details now let's say I wanted to convert this column into one and zero uh, we will be first using the case when statement so select I need all the columns so star comma I want to write a case when statement so case when now please remember one thing uh, the, the structure that I am following over here is not compulsory uh, the reason I write my code or my query in such a way is because I want to make it very nice clean and readable uh, but you are free to write it in one line itself uh, as all of you know that when you are using a SQL query you can write it in one line and two line in n line as much lines you want but when you want to run it you just select the complete query and execute it right so I'll be using uh, this format to make sure that my query is very much readable so case when the column churn is equal to no is no then I need a zero then uh, I'll write another one when the column churn is equal to or maybe since it is only having one when condition or sorry one condition I can just simply say else one I'll end this as let's say John underscore John underscore B and from the table John underscore data let's execute it and here you can see that I'm having zero and one so wherever there is a yes I'm having one wherever there is a no I'm having zero I can do the same thing using if condition also or if function also as you guys already know that uh, it is preferred to use if when you have only one uh, one condition to write so let's see how we can do this using if select a star comma if the condition condition is churn column churn is equal to no then I need a zero else I need a one I'll call this column as let's say John underscore B from the table John underscore data and we are done now here you can see that we have the similar result but this is more clean and readable when it comes to writing single condition so here I was having single condition and you can see that it's very clean and readable although if I am having multiple conditions case when is more preferred uh, so let's do one thing let's convert this monthly charges column into uh, a category column uh, first of all I will find out the minimum and the maximum monthly charges just to understand the scope of this column so monthly charges I want the minimum value comma max of monthly charges I want the maximum value from the table John underscore data so minimum is 18 and 118.75 is the maximum now let's convert this column into a binary or, or maybe into a category column so select a star since I need all the columns comma and I'll use case when the column monthly charges is greater than or maybe is less than 20 then I need a one when or maybe let's use a category over here a when monthly charges are greater than or equal to 20 but monthly charges are less than let's say uh, 40 then I need a B when monthly charges are greater than or equal to 40 and monthly charges are less than let's say 80 then I need a C and when monthly charges are greater than or equal to 80 and 
monthly charges are less than let's say 100 then d else i need it to be a1 and i'll end this as uh, let's say m monthly c uh, monthly c monthly c from the table churn underscore data and let's execute this okay oh uh, there is some spelling mistake i believe that m o n t h l y n over here m o n t h l y monthly let's execute this and here we have the result right so when monthly charges are greater than 100 you can see that i'm having a1 over here <laughs> Bye. <laughs>